stimulate a specific region of the brain. It's like a pacemaker for the brain, created to help people with Parkinson's. It's a huge deal. You can turn the clock back in these patients. Dr. Jerry Vitek has been studying the brain at the U of M for years. This device by Boston Scientific called the Versice is a new kind of deep brain stimulation system implanted in the chest with a wire on the side. Comes under the skin, under the back of the neck, behind the ear, and that connects to the lead that's then in the brain. A tiny 1.27 millimeter lead that Dr. Michael Park says is surgically inserted into the head. We do the surgery as while the patient is awake. So when we turn it on, we can actually see their tremors go away. Instant relief and without pain because there are no pain sensors in the brain. It's a lot like real estate. It's location, location, location. If you're off by a millimeter, mm. you may not get the results you're looking for. Deep brain stimulation itself has been getting positive results for years. But last month, Dr. Vitek and Dr. Park both oversaw, at the U of M, the very first patient to receive treatment from the new FDA-approved Versice. What makes this Boston Scientific device different from the previous ones? I, I would compare it to something like our cell phones and our smartphones have evolved, right? It, it just has more features, that means you can do more things with it. Essentially, it's more personalized. It has an independent contact control, which controls the amount of current and where it goes into the patient's brain, hitting the right spots and avoiding negative side effects. Now, will everyone with Parkinson's get this DBS uh, device, or is this just for some patients? My personal feeling is that I think the vast majority of patients would do well with this. At the U, Corey Heppola. Care 11 News. There are many people who may not ever need to get to the point of.